what's going on with planting people in today's video we are going to be exploring the wonderful wild the wonderful nature and in no better place than the forest of dean in gloucestershire this is part of the cotswolds very famous location massive forestry area they do a lot of amazing conservation work i'm just going to take a little stroll see what the forest has to offer i'm really looking forward to it and i hope you are too The Forest of Dean is definitely like a conservation forest. They do a lot of conservation work. And you can see here where they have lots and lots of trees that they're about to, or they have planted. It's like a reforestation effort. So it will be nice to come back in a couple of years and see how different this area looks to how it looks now. Some really great work happening here. It truly is. It's a massive, massive, bit of land a bit of area um yeah so it'll be nice to see what they do we've just spotted a little lake so we're gonna go have a look no swimming no canoeing we need a fishing license to fish here which is quite cool so as i'm walking over here i realize there's a massive fenced off area here. Why is there a fenced off area in the middle of the forest? You come across this little sign here and it's actually got beavers in here. So I know there's a massive like rewilding thing happening across the UK where they're trying to reintroduce beavers, which were, as it says, once widespread across the UK. So that's quite cool. So uh, I'll go over there, have a little look and see if we can see any. I won't hold my breath. Because obviously beavers will be near water. I don't, can't see any water here, but we'll have a look inside. Well, this is it. There's not much to see. The sign does say there's 12.7 hectares of land. So it's like finding a needle in a haystack and what a haystack it is. <laughs> so I doubt we'll see anything here, but yeah, it's great to see or to at least read about the work that they're doing here. I'm sure there's somewhere online that we'll be able to see the actual results um, of this work. How oh, cool, really, really cool. One of the things I haven't really noticed until now, until visiting this forest, is just how much life, how much nature are within these trees. These trees on their own make up a massive ecosystem, something that's really missing from the urban environments you know we have our trees growing on the sidewalk and yes we do appreciate them they help to contribute to removing a lot of those toxins that cars produce and do you know what we just get really used to having trees with very smooth bark but coming here every single tree is covered in layers of moss and lichen they've got other plants growing on them like this one has a variety of ivy growing on it and it's just so much happening in just the one tree. And this is only at the base of it as well. I'm sure the higher you get as well, the more unique you see life becoming and how much these trees are contributing to the natural world that we actually forget to appreciate at times. It's so beautiful. This is just one of so many trees. This is, this is amazing. And you know what? It's not just the trees. It's also just something like this, just, an innocent looking boulder, a little rock. You wouldn't think much of it as well. But look, this is a wonderful place for life to just flourish. It's absolutely insane. We've had to take a little seat because it's quite a walk. Probably already done about four, maybe five already. Um, that's a 10K walk in total. So that's, that's, quite the, uh, that's quite the journey. Yeah, 20K in a day. Not bad though. There's gonna be a, apparently a pond up this way and a calf so we can maybe grab something to, 
to drink, a little snack or something. Put back on those calories that we just lost. <laughs> but yeah, um, the trail has changed. If you can see, like this one's a lot smaller, a lot thinner, like two person width, as opposed to this one here, which is basically enough for a car to go past. But before then, we're just gonna chill out for a little bit, get our, get our energy back up, and then we're gonna carry on with the rest of the way. This is quite a nice walk. And I always kind of forget that places like this are even real, um, especially in the UK for some reason. And that's really naive of me, to be fair. I recommend if you're in the UK and you haven't done this before, I would recommend it. It's just so beautiful. It really is. There's a real possibility of getting lost in here though. So do be careful and follow the track. You can go off field if you want to, but I've got zero signal here, none at all. So if you get lost, Google Maps isn't gonna help you. So completely off grid right now, completely off grid. Look at this, look at that. I mean, we got to tap back into this. And remember that we're all part of this whole ecosystem, this thing called life. I'm getting really deep into my philosophy now, but yeah, places like this will make you feel like that. Wow. I have a feeling though, these are planted really symmetrically in like grids. I have a feeling this is part of, this is actually a pine forest. So I think eventually this will probably be farmed and chopped down for logging, for timber. I did see a section that was, it, there was like a warning danger, logging and so on. Um, so I imagine this in the future will be cut down. Just look how uniform the trees are, growing really, really straight, evenly spaced. Um, and also you can see there's a, there's a few little, little ones growing here as well. So that's probably going to be the next generation after these ones are cut down in a few years time. Despite that, it looks like they're doing it in a way that is sort of eco-conscious and a way that limits how much damage they do to the environment. That's what I hope, that's what I think, I don't know. Um, if anyone out there is an environmentalist and uh, you know the science behind this, is this actually sustainable? I don't know. I don't know, it'll be interesting to know and to find out. But anyway, two kilometers left until we get to this mystery pond lake and a calf where we can sit down and just enjoy, relax a little bit. I think we found a little gem. Just literally spotted a little bit of water through the woods. Come here and I found this. Wow. Wow, loads of little ducks <laughs> chasing each other. How cool is that? After two hours of walking, 10 kilometers, we made it, we made it to the end. We actually started this walk not knowing that there was this lake and this calf here, but I'm so glad that we found it. It is absolutely beautiful and I would 100% recommend this location. The Forest of Dean has been enlightening, eye-opening, and if you're ever in the UK, around the Cotswolds area, in Gloucestershire, I would 100% recommend that you visit this place if you wanna unwind, relax, and explore the wonderful wild. Thanks for watching and keep planting.